Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So over the weekend we had some disappointing data come out of China again and today is the first day that um, Greek stocks have started to trade uh, in about four or five weeks. So there's a little bit of apprehension out there in the markets and uh, as a consequence to that the um, US there is actually trading slightly lower below potential resistance at 17,747. Um, which it did try and break through there on Friday, but then failed to do so by the end of the session. It's been quite volatile over in Germany, obviously a big exposure to, to Greece over there, and the UK uh, is struggling to break a little bit higher as uh, the fall in commodity prices continues to impact a lot of the big uh, oil stocks and mining companies, and the sell-off in commodities is getting more pronounced, uh, with copper uh, a lot lower, uh, near 2009 lows. And uh, crude oil, when we have a look at it, West Texas is down at 46 and change. So that's kind of where we are with that. Other technical indicators are relatively neutral, but looking at this for now, obviously pressure uh, remain in regards to the major levels there. So looking at the UK 100, very volatile session on Friday, managed to close positive, but was unable to break above 66.86, or close above that, sorry. Um, we are lower this morning, we could have a, a reversal of the MACD. Um, other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, again, we are actually trading between a 21 period SMA here and a potential resistance, so it might be interesting to see which side it breaks. Either we'll get a move higher, or we might get a tick below this moving average, in which case 65.89 could be the next potential support level there. Moving on to Japan 225, and we saw a big reversal in the US dollar. Uh, so we got, whenever we look at Japan 225, we always talk about dollar yen, um, because they obviously have quite a strong uh, relationship there together. Wage growth in the US, I think on Friday, came out the slowest in their, in their history. Uh, and that caused a big turnaround, as in, um, there might not be the same need for uh, increasing rates as what some people might have thought, and uh, that's caused excuse me, caused quite a big uh, quite a big turnaround in, in the U.S. dollar, especially if I look at euro dollar and uh, and dollar yen, big turnaround and uh, a big sell off, and then a slow kind of grind up to the opposite end. So where we are with Japan 25, uh, we reversed down towards those uh, dual moving averages. 28.68 still remains a potential uh, resistance, but we are making a pattern of lower highs currently. So you've got a high, a lower high, and a lower high. Could be the start of some sort of a weird shaped descending uh, triangle formation. We'll just have to see how that pans out. Certainly we've bounced off the session lows on Japan 25 this morning. So moving on to dollar yen, uh, you'll be able to see that we were... Um, well, on the intraday charts, you can see the move is a little bit more, more aggressive in the dailies. It doesn't look too bad, but it, it did sell off quite a lot after the, that uh, Friday's uh, US wage growth figure coming out. Uh, but 124.42 remains the potential resistance. I guess we're just we're at 124 right now, so uh, not a massive decrease there on dollar yen. That's why we're getting a bit of a jump there on Japan 225. Moving on to West Texas crude, you can just see how bad their Friday session was. We were we have been as low as 46 bot 20, but looks to be that 45.85, the tip of this candle here, could be the next logical potential support. All the technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, to oversold, sorry, not neutral at all. Um, but that's not surprising when you've been in quite a downwards action since uh, the end of June right there. So commodity is still very pressured, as I said, copper down, 2009 lows. Gold is, uh, it's been a tough one to call because if you look at Friday's candle, because of the volatility, first of all, it sold off just to look like it was going to break out to the bottom of this triangle. Um, then the wage growth data came out on Friday and it jumped the opposite direction only to close within the pattern again. And we're pretty much bang on that level again, uh, especially with all this uncertainty and everything else. So people are still buying the yen, still buying gold. Not a huge amount, incidentally, because uh, you just got to figure out what the next move is for, for equities. So moving on to your dollar and cable. So you can see that moving your dollar way more pronounced. So we were up much, much higher. Oh, no, on 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 your dollar, it kind of spiked up when that wage growth data came out there on Friday, only to get pushed all the way right back down again um, as the dollar began to wrestle a little bit again to think well that fr that uh, September could still be that 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 date when that wage growth data first came out. Commentators were all over there saying, "Well, the Fed can't raise rates now, not with data like this." But um, the market looks like it's that it has spoken, so that, that should be quite a strong technical signal. Um, albeit it's not really falling through with that much figure this morning, but we are uh, hitting that 21 period SMA, and um, the other technicals are relatively neutral. So again, we're in between two ranges: one spot 11 and one spot 0786. 
And I finish up there with GBP USD. Um, still oscillating around one spot 56, potential resistance one spot 57.43, uh, with the potential support below one spot 56, up one spot 54.24. Other technicals are, as ever, pretty neutral. So, economic data wise, you do have uh, loads of PMI data from Germany, um, the Eurozone, and the UK and the US today, and domestic auto industry sales. And then, if we go on to Tuesday, you've got UK house data, and then Wednesday, you've got uh, more PMI data. This is from Market Serve uh, and HSPC. A number of the big financial institutions do their own PMI data forecasts, retail sales. ADP private payrolls, um, and obviously you've got non-farm payrolls coming up this Friday as well. And then you have your um, petroleum data sales and more PMI, the ISM non-manufacturing business index as well. So Wednesday uh, promises to be a little bit more exciting in regards to economic data. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool analysis on here. I can see a number of uh, CMC clients actually posting their own analysis, which is great. And uh, make sure you keep your eye on insights and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.